Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have completed the props data with a simple project. There's something like a pizza app project we have completed it. And we have seen the different uh, features in the fundamental features of the ReactJS, how to create a component, how we can do the communication from parent component to child component. So these are all the different ways. So how to apply a conditional classes. So these are all the things we have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn another new concept, to jump into a new concept in the ReactJS that is how we can fire the event listeners. So whenever you want to fire event listeners like click event listener or anything, how we can fire these things. So let's try to uh, implement those things in a, with a, another simple project. So all the, pro all the things I will try to explain you with a simple projects only. So here I am trying to create an another new project that is an events app. So for creating a new project, we already know. So npx create react app so this is our thing at the time of this recording the create react app version is 5 so whoever may be creating and all those things so at the time of this recording so if you are having uh, uh, when you are trying to learn at the time of learning when this react app version is more means so if you want to have the same version means you can have it like this so right now it is 5 so i am giving and the project is event siphon app so let's press enter so it will take some time to uh, install the project to install the, all the dependencies and all those things it will take some time and after completion of this thing after completion of this all project setup and all those things i will come back to you so fine guys the project has been created now it's time for us to go into this uh, events app so cd events app i am moving into this events app let's try to open this one in our uh, visual studio code and uh, hopefully you all know about the code and all those things, the project structure and everything as we already discussed. Let's move on to the index.js file. Here we'll be having this all the code, right? And what I will do is I will try to run the server. So npm start. So let's run this server. So we are starting up the server. It is loading. So let's leave it aside. By the time we will move on to the project. So I am removing this report that web vitals. Uh, it's not needed. Now let's move on to this app.js file. Okay, so this is our app.js file. If you try to see this code, this is all the code you are already aware of this one. My main intention is I will delete this entire code. Okay, and here I will write export default function app. And here I will return uh, one div, let's say hello world. I will return like this. Let's see the output for this one. It's still loading. I don't know my why my system is only slow or everybody else is slow. So it's still loading. I don't know. Let's let it load. Yeah, we are able to show this hello world, right? Now I will try to create a basic HTML thing of what I am trying to do in this project. So here uh, I will be having a div. Okay and for this one i will add a class name of steps so we will write try to write the css also for this one so first let's let me create the html markup and here in this one i will have a numbers okay numbers and this one should be class name so this is always quite confusing for me in the react js so now here i will be having a div one two sorry two and three so these are the steps so let us check the output how it will how the output will look like so now if i save i have saved it already whether it is it is compiling or not i think it is yeah it's now it's compiling yeah fine sometimes it will get stuck so one two three we are able to show it now afterwards what i will do is i will i want to show a message class name is equal to message and here i will write hello world this is also completed. Now I will have two buttons. It's a simple thing only. We will write the CSS also for this one. Uh, and these are all buttons. And in this button, I will have one button which is of type previous. Okay. And another one I will have a next button. Okay. So let's keep it like this. Very simple. And we will apply the CSS for this one. So let's go and apply the CSS. And here for applying CSS, I am importing the CSS here. Import app.css okay so this is also done let's go let's go into this app.css file yeah and i will remove this all code i am applying the star box 
sizing box sizing border box okay and another one what i want to do is i will try to take the body and here i will apply the font family of uh, sans serif so i am taking simple thing and i will apply color of hash 333 okay mm, and another one which i want to do so if you want to have an extension so we have some extensions pretty good extensions available color highlighter so this is also one of the things which i will be not using so if you want you can install it and you can we'll check it so with the color color combination you will get it output color highlight output color let's see so this one we are having so many downloads right so let's try to install it and we have installed it let's see whether we are able to see the output or not yeah here we are able to see the output now for example let's say that i will apply a red color see we are able to get a red color like this now it is somewhat fine right now let's go here and the body is completed and i will go to the steps so this is our main container so think of this one as a container and in these steps i will write the css for this one uh, step css first what i will do is i will give the width width of around 600 pixel okay and i will apply a background color background color uh, what i want to do is i will apply hash uh, f7 some thick color okay that's it gray color uh, border hyphen uh, radius border iphone radius and i will apply around 7 pixel i don't want to apply more mm, padding let's give inside the padding padding of around 25 pixel 100 pixel don't think the response and all those things i am not taking care of those all things just i want to have a small little bit of uh, ui that's it margin auto so little bit so we are able to see this one right first we will apply the css for these numbers let's go to the numbers so these all CSS I already written the class names. First I want to get it row by row base, okay? And I want to give equal space space between. That's it. So if I save it, yeah, here we are able to get it. Those all thick colors yeah, I selected. Now each number that is nothing but numbers. Each number I want to take it, and for this each number, I want to apply height of forty pixel height of 40 pixel and i will apply an aspect ratio of 1 so that the width also will be 40 pixel and i will apply background color of hash e7 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 okay and i will apply a border radius also which should be of around 50 percent so that it will come circular shape okay and i want to get that uh, number also to be the center of this is center of the uh, circle right so we'll take it as a display flex and i will apply uh, justify content center and align iphone item center that's it and font size you'll increase the font size font size of around 18 pixel okay that's it now numbers greater than div is also completed numbers active these all things i don't want i don't want to active these all things will check it and i will check the message the message which is in hello world i want to make it center text align center simple thing so it will be in the center and i will apply some font size font size of around 20 pixel okay and i will apply a margin uh, top bottom i will apply 40 pixel of uh, zero now it will come here little bit down and what i will want to apply is uh, that's it so fine right looking well fine and let's move on to the another one last one is the buttons okay so these buttons also i will move and here in these buttons uh, what i will do is so in these buttons uh, display flex okay so buttons display flex so that it will come side by side and i will apply justify content uh, space between so that uh, equal space will be divided around means uh, so left and right also it will come now between we have applied it now for the each button we will have some design for the each button I will remove the border to none so you'll be able to see the output there and I will make the cursor pointer so that the cursor hand icon will come uh, and another one is the padding I will apply a padding of around 10 pixel comma 15 pixel so you'll have some padding and I will apply a border radius of uh, what I can say 100 pixels so that semicircle like this it will be 
and font size also I'll apply 14 pixel little bit big little bigger it will come and font weight bold we'll make it as a font weight bold okay that's it and for this message also you'll make it as a font weight bold it's not uh, it's not a uh, font weight bold only it'll make it font weight bold okay so this is our simple uh, design which i am trying to do it now our intention is whenever i click on the next button or anything so it needs to be uh, this steps needs to be incremented and decremented so we'll try to see about these all click listeners and all those things so this is a css which i have did it and this is our app.js uh, component thing and from the next onwards we will try to do some steps and we will uh, implement one by one we will we'll learn the concepts one by one and we will implement the, all the concepts in this project so these are all the code which is committed in our video hyphen 17 whoever may be having a doubts or anything so here events hyphen app is there that project so whoever may be having doubts or anything if you want to refer the code means you can go and refer to this react 18 hyphen course so whoever may be having a doubts and here all the projects whatever the projects i am trying to create and i will be creating in each folder whichever the project you are trying to follow you can follow here that's it guys so this is all about the events app project uh, implementation the basic project setup if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you